Hey to all you cave guys and cave gals, Caveman Mining here, hoping everyone is having a good day. On today's video, we are going to circle back regarding Ton Coin. And on our last video, you guys saw that we just started mining this, so I wanted to go over the 24 hour and 48 hour profitability. With that, we have a few lessons learned regarding the mining of Ton Coin, specifically regarding our overclocks. Through a little bit of research and playing around, we've been able to refine our overclocks, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And we've actually been able to increase our giga hash by a significant sum so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in the laptop and I will share with you guys the screen and go over some of the details okay so we've jumped up in the laptop and we're gonna keep a very crisp fast pace here so I want to show you guys on the last video I explained that we got around 22 mega hash I think it was 21.90 we have gone ahead and refined our overclocks now spent a little bit of time spent a little bit of research we have the same mining rig same cards we'll go in through this intimately in a second but I just want to compare that total hash rate comparison so we've got 26.35 minus 21.90 zero so that's a difference of about four and a half mega hash and in terms of what that does for value what we want to do is we want to go into the mining calculator and we're going to just round it off to 26 and a half uh, mega hash i think it, at times it spools up to that uh, and we are pulling you can see at the wall here i'm going to share a little clip on the bottom right of our space goats power meter so pulling between 1580 and 1600 watts so we're going to call that 1590 watts we're going to calculate that at the cost of 12 cents a kilowatt hour and based off the current market price which is three dollars and 63 cents which is a little bit of an increase from uh, the other day when we did our first video so that pulls in 37 dollars and 16 cents a day 260 dollars for a week $1,115 a month. So what an increase. I think we were at like $835 a month uh, before. So that's been quite the increase just by adding that almost five giga hash. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first rig here. Our 6600, we were able to increase this significantly by about 600 or so mega hash. I think we were pulling 800 mega hash before. Yeah, we're about 700 or so mega hash increase on that. This is conservative. I'll share with you guys a website that gives us some foundation for overclock, but we're doing 2100 on the core, 950 on the mem. I'm not setting a power level. I try to set voltages and the core voltages and the memory voltage. Just didn't seem to like that. And also on our Quadro 4000 cards, I left those at the 200 core, 2000 memory. I saw some things that could potentially increase those hash rates to about 1900 giga hash. I just was worried about the stability and the rigs crashing. On our 6600 XT, we have also 2100 and 950 on the memory. And I think we can go up to probably about 2400 on the core. But again, I wanted to do this in the sense of increasing but keeping stability after this video i probably will jack those core clocks up a little bit and to see if we get a little bit of a stable higher overclock we're able to get a very very significant increase and then on our eight card gpu rig we have cards ranging from the 2060 rtx to the 3090 and again, the big win here for me was the RX 6800s. We increased those from, I think they were just at two giga hash to about 3.2 giga hash, seems to be the average. And then the next best card that we were able to increase was our RTX 3090. I think we were able to increase that by about 500 mega hash or so. And this is a weird one because it suggests that we just do 200 on the core and 300 on the power limit. Now, I want to share with you guys where I started to compile and get some of this information from, from the site hashrate.no. Essentially on the coin, I just did a sort of the ton coin. Now, ton coin is a new coin that's mineable via GPU, if you don't already know. It is running on the SHA 
256 ton algorithm is what they're calling it and it's on the new law miner 1.39 version which you see here in hive os so i encourage you guys to definitely take a look at this website hashrate.no read and i guess at your own risk test there's always a risk of bricking or breaking, so it's not fine, you know, not financial advice. <laughs> it's not hash rate advice, it's not overclocking advice. It is just simply a guideline and a resource if you guys would like to give that a shot. Now, I do need to comment on my experience so far. Uh, this has been a fun experience, seemingly profitable, not sure in terms of the long-term longevity of the coin. I mentioned I'm using a whales ton pool. Now you can see here, this was at our balance of this morning. We hit a revenue, daily revenue of 10 ton coins a day based off of the hash rate of the 21 and some change mega hash. And then we kind of slowly bounce up and down. And then this evening I did the overclock adjustment. So that theoretically that daily revenue should go up even before right we we were mining ton coin at 10 ton coins a day or 10.1 a day you could see we pulled in two days in 48 hours we pulled 23 ton coin even if we just did it at the price of the where it was the three dollars and fifty cents times 23 that gives us eighty dollars and fifty cents now that's not factoring in electricity obviously but that's roughly about 35 36 dollars a day would be my uh, guess so we were right on target with our profitability speculation i still find this interesting i'm going to keep digging in and investigating you know how much further we could go here yeah take a look at the clocks here 6800s 2200 on the core 1000 on the mem feel free to take a screenshot and use this in terms of a resource reference but again overclock at your own risk i am excited to continue to see where this goes one thing i want to caution to the wind kudos to minor stat for some of their i guess flagging of algorithms we have a disclaimer here this coin has a low 24 hour volume so this means it's rarely traded on exchanges and it's hard to sell in terms of where it can be sold it can be sold at ftx gate.io okex pancake swap and uniswap and you can see again the volume is is pretty low compared to other coins on uh, i'm not going to cover it on this video but what i would like to do is i would like to probably mine for another day or two on these new hash rates Whatever I get in those coins and values, I would like to get those in my wallet. And then I would like to see if we can get on one of the exchanges and sell those coins and maybe trade it for Ethereum or Ravencoin as a test and see what we get from there. If you guys thought this video was interesting, if you'd like to see more Tong coin uh, content, please let me know in the comments below. Also comment on the hash rates if you think this was helpful. Also, let me know if you guys are mining Tongcoin, and if so, what kind of cards and what is the hash rates you are running. I definitely want to compare and see versus my setup and see if I can actually squeeze a little bit more giga hash or mega hash or efficiency out of the setup. And with that all said, guys, I appreciate you watching as always. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.